Here we have two Samsung 970 EVO Plus SSDs, but one of them is real and the other, well, it's not. I'm going to clone my laptop's SSD onto both the real and the fake 970 EVO Plus drives. One will be cloned offline with a dock, the other with software. Then we'll run speed tests on both and even compare them with the laptop's original SSD. And finally, we'll peel back the labels to reveal what's really hiding underneath, examining the detail to separate fact from fake. My initial plan was to upgrade my laptop's SSD, and I found a cheap deal on AliExpress, but reviews reveal it was fake. Too late to return, I decided to buy a real one and compare the two on video. And that's how we got here. Let's kick things off with examining the boxes. This first one with a hanging tab is the real one, and it is made in Thailand. And now let's take a look at the fake one and see how it compares. This brush I guess they want me to keep the dust off their lies. Looking at both boxes side by side, the printed colors and overall design are surprisingly similar. The logos, model name, and even the tapes with 500 gigabytes appear nearly identical at first glance. However, subtle differences in print sharpness and texture can hint at which one is fake? Again, the one with the hanging tab is the real one. These barcodes are likely there to mimic authenticity as the legitimate Samsung products. It's uncanny. It's clear that the fake box was designed to mimic the real one as closely as possible. I have included an affiliate link below for the real one. If you decided to get one for yourself, I'll earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. All right, let's take them out. Wow, even the plastic holder for the fake drive on the right is incredibly convincing. Feeling lost yet? Can you tell which one is which? Even the plastic, identical. Before examining these drives closely, let's take a quick look at the booklets that came with each of them. I'm honestly shocked and a little intrigued by how closely the booklet from the fake drive resembles the real one. The rounded sticker sealing the fake booklets feels like plastic and you'll need to cut through it. I am so anxious to see what's inside this booklet. I am really intrigued right now. Okay, the prints on the fake one on the right are misaligned. The fonts and prints on the fake booklet on the right are noticeably larger, which pushes the text further down, creating an uneven alignment compared to the real one. The illustrations in the fake booklet on the right are a direct copy of the ones in the real booklet on the left. It's hard to spot any difference at first glance, except the paper on the fake booklet is whiter and the ink spread is a bit uneven. I am quite impressed. On the fake box, the serial number matches the one on the fake SSD, but here's something odd. There is a forward slash between the S and the N on the box, while on the SSD, it doesn't have it. Before I peel off these labels, I want to make sure that both drives are tested and working. That way, if something's wrong, I can still return it. Next, I'm going to 
open up my laptop, take out the internal SSD and start cloning them. And after that, I'll run some speed tests to see how they perform. Here is a very cool M.2 NVMe cloning device. It's not perfect, but I'll show you how it works and how well it performs. Unfortunately, the cable that came with the device feels really cheap, so I'm using my own instead. Plus, the device needs to be plugged into a power supply of at least 45 watts. To start, insert the source drive into the slot labeled source and the target drive into the slot labeled target. Press the power switch to turn on. The device will then recognize the drives and the P1, P2 indicators will light up, signaling it's ready to go. Now press the start button for 5 seconds to begin and you will see the blue light turn on, indicating the cloning process has started. However, it does not work with the real drive. I have tried several times, but no luck. No luck whatsoever. Anyway, instead, I'll use Macrium's cloning software later to get it cloned. But I'm not done with this cloning device just yet. What about the fake drive? Let's give it a try. It detects both drives. Let's hit start. Now that's how it's supposed to work. I'll speed up the video here. The blue light will keep flashing running until each percentage indicator lights up solid until it gets to 100%. The cloning device gets really hot. So I'll let you hear the fan inside as it kicks into action. It's done. Turning it off now, let's test it out. Carefully pulling out the fake drive from the cloning device and getting it into the mini book. Securing the drive in place. I won't screw the bottom panel back in just yet until I have cloned the real drive. One for power, the other for the 4K extension. Powering it on, everything seems to be working perfectly. But the main event here is the speed test using Crystal Dismark. Here's what we've got. On the laptop screen, you can see the speed test result from the fake drive. On the iPad, I have pulled up a picture of the speed test results from the original drive, which I had tested earlier. The fake drive shows faster write speeds, but the original drive still outperforms it in read speeds and overall performance. And now I'm going to use the cloning device as an enclosure for the real Samsung drive and perform the cloning process using Macrium software. Disk 1 in the first row is the fake drive that is inside the laptop right now. Disk 2 in the second row is the original drive that came with the laptop. And disk 3 in the third row is the real Samsung drive. I attempted to clone the original drive disk 2 onto the real Samsung drive several times, but it didn't work because the main partition of the real drive doesn't have enough space. So I ended up cloning off the fake drive instead. Why not? It had worked offline, cloning from the original drive onto it. So why not give it a try? And it works. 
And you can hear the fan noise ramping up in the cloning dock or enclosure right now. This will take a while, so I've sped up the video. This thing gets really hot. Good thing it came with a fan. Removing the fake drive and swapping it for the real one. Upgrading an SSD is always interesting, whether it's for better speed, reliability, or just the satisfaction of getting the most out of your device. And in this case, making sure we have the real deal makes it even more worthwhile. Let's run Crystal Desmark again, this time for the real drive. And here again, the results shown on the iPad are from the fake drive we just tested. The results for the real drive are as expected. Read speed over 3500 megabytes per second and write speed over 3200 megabytes per second. And you can clearly see they are miles apart in speed. I ran some more tests. Take a look at these results for the real drive. Very consistent. Now that I know both drives work, I don't have to worry about returning them. So let's peel back the labels and see what's underneath. The truth is finally exposed. We'll take a closer look in a moment, but first let me peel off the label on the real one too. Here we have the two drives side by side. The real one on top show a well-designed layout. The real drive includes DRAM, which is completely missing on the fake one. Here are the two VNAND chips on the real one, or the storage chips. And here are their NAND chips, which are likely low quality. Exact same copy of the tape on the back. Here's the fake box, and they bluntly printed the real drive's chips right on the package. So here's what I've learned. The fake drive can't compete with the real Samsung EVO 970 Plus in speed, quality, or likely reliability. While the packaging and booklets are convincing, the internal components tell a completely different story. The fake drive lacks DRAM, uses low-quality NAND chips, and relies on deceptive labeling to appear legitimate. In the end, you truly get what you pay for. Always double-check your sources and invest in authentic products to avoid disappointment. This has been a fascinating experience for me, and I hope you found this just as interesting and helpful. Anyway, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching.